Entertainment Art Week is a singular platform that seeks to join the entire creative community of the Cayman Islands. It will be a series of days in July every year with open studios, gallery tours, pop-up exhibitions and a variety of creative events across all three of the Cayman Islands. Cayman Art Week really emerged out of this idea that we needed to find a way of creating a singular platform through which to champion the works of our art galleries, our artists and our studios, and to also connect collectors and maybe emerging buyers directly with the artists and creators. The four-day event is hosted by a comprehensive website that brings together all of these different players and practitioners for the very first time. If you're looking to learn about the Caymanian art sector and the commercial sector, looking to buy art or learn about how to get into collecting local art, this website can provide you Google Maps, contacts and samples of the work from every single one of these studios and galleries. It really is a one-stop place now to learn about how to access and engage with the creative sector in the Cayman Islands. Like everyone in the hospitality sector, the art community has been greatly impacted in terms of the closed borders and not having access to our regular visitors to the Cayman Islands. So they need our help more than ever in terms of buying art, investing in art, whether that's a print or a limited edition or a grand original for your home. This is the time to come out, learn more about what's happening in Cayman's creative community and support it so it continues long into the future. In total, we have over 80 artists featured. The four day event is designed to raise awareness and celebrate the artists, studios and galleries in each of the districts around the Cayman Islands. We'll be going to West Bay and Seven Mile Beach one day, we'll be going to Georgetown another, and then heading up to the Eastern District to learn about the studios working in all sorts of areas across Cayman. We'll also be heading to the Sister Islands throughout the week with a variety of events hosted by Gordon Solomon from his studio in Cayman Brack, and then on to Little Cayman to collaborate with the Little Cayman Museum. Thanks to our partners, all of our Cayman Art Week events are free to the public, including our curated bus tours and the special evening events being hosted in the different districts across the Cayman Islands. Cayman Art Week wouldn't be possible without an outpouring of support from so many partners, many of whom have supported the creative sector for many years. Cayman Art Week's patron is Susan Aldi OBE, and our lead partners are Provenance Properties Cayman Islands, an affiliate of Christie's International, the National Gallery of the Cayman Islands and Georgetown Revitalization with their Art in the City project. We also have support from the Cayman Islands Department of Tourism, Monaco Towers and Real Life Magazine. 25 venues, the 80 artists and all of the different participants in Cayman Art Week to celebrate the very best of Caymanian visual art. Hello and welcome to your lovely local wave. I am lucky enough to be here with Natalie Urquhart, who I'm sure after watching this video is feeling a sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was amazing to watch that again. We only made that about two or three weeks ago. This has all happened in a very small timeline. Um, and to see it from the other side of the week, uh, it's just wonderful because I don't think we had a, a clue about how how many people would come out and um, join us for this uh, incredible week. And it's just been incredibly rewarding, I think, for everyone involved. I'm sure. And I'm sure you're needing an incredible amount of rest. My <laughs> <laughs> voice is rather deep this week. Yeah. I haven't gone back to normal yet, but I am. Um, I'm beyond thrilled. And I, I just said to someone yesterday, you know, I was really hoping that people would come out and support the local art community. I was hoping galleries and studios could recoup some of the losses of the last 18 months. And it, it you know, that definitely worked. But it was just the spirit, the joy, um, this community coming together of hundreds of people coming out 
um, and so positive and so much laughter and uh, it was fun you know it was really fun to work so hopefully it was fun to enjoy as a visitor and participant as well. Yes, that is one thing that I kept hearing, especially from the artists themselves, that they don't often get to connect. Um, and it was just a very positive time for them to gather, come together. And I, one of the things that was really great about Cayman Art Week was that every artist was allowed to express themselves as they wished, right? So uh -huh. it allowed everyone to be an individual, but then come together for a bigger collaboration of sorts. Absolutely, and I think that's the key to what, I was trying to do with Kim and Artwick as a model is that we are not creating content. Um, you know, we are literally creating a platform of visibility for everyone to participate in, whether that's a small artist studio, uh, an emerging, you know, some young artists like uh, Raphael Cowery has done amazing work on his own, to the really established galleries like Pure Arts and Kennedy that have been around for sort of 35 years. So, you know, I think that when we saw some of the evening events as well, going to places like Crucial Inc, Carlos Garcia's, um, Parcel 110 and Al Ebanks, this incredible um, outpouring of creativity that you know merged fine art with fashion, with music, uh, with spoken word. Just it was it was fantastic. Sorry. <laughs> there you are. With the video, so man. Here. No, this is a yeah, great video. Yeah, there's some community. images there, but yeah, not. But yeah, so um that just to see all the different kinds of art and um you know everything on display was really amazing and uh and even to see the activity in georgetown uh, yes so that was really the one of the really that was the biggest night we did tours in seven mile beach so we looped six galleries in seven mile beach and then of course georgetown has i would say we, we sort of advertised it as 10 but by the time we got to the friday night we had several other venues in georgetown join us as well so there really were more like sort of 14 spaces um, that were part of the georgetown night and we had so much fun collaborating with the uh, georgetown revitalization team colin lumsden uh, michelle white from not your standard um, really put together a remarkable event as kind of the core of the tour that we had been working on um, and everybody just you know stepped up um, in incredible ways so it was just really fun to work and I think again if our team's having a good time it should mean that everyone else is having fun too if they're just joining as visitors so here are some great images of uh, all of the different participants this is at parcel 110 Cohen Ebanks this is the wonderful Colin Lumsden, who really leads up Georgetown Revitalization, Parcel 110 again. And I think that was what was so great, as you said, is that all of these venues have different types of art. So we just saw Guy Harvey, who's well known globally um, as really one of the world's premier mar sort of marine artists. Um, but then we have something like Ali Banks' studio with this amazing abstraction and art meets fashion. Uh, we go to pure art and again, sort of realism, uh, all sorts of different types of work. So there really was uh, something for everyone to see, you know, whether you're a fan, fan of Bendel Hides, who's behind me today, you know, the grandfather of Caymanian art that we wanted to, to give massive respect to, or someone like we're seeing on screen right now, which is stoked, Pam and Mark Lorison doing recycled artwork. And Cayman Art Week was, you know, really about the economy of art and trying to help galleries and studios in this very difficult time sort of as we come through the pandemic but it was really also about you know giving people the opportunity to get into spaces that they might not visit uh, to feel really welcome um, and just to learn about the, the scope of art that has been created um, across all three of the Cayman Islands and of course we went to the BRAC and Little Cayman and the Eastern Districts so this really was a tri-island, um, multi-district um, project. Yes, and I think it's fantastic. And, you know, if this is the first year, then you've set the bar pretty high. So I definitely encourage everyone to notice the logo, the big red dot, pay attention to it. I'm sure there's going to be events and things leading up to it for next year. And you still have an amazing website, caymanartweek.com, that has all the artists so that people can get a hold of them and, and reach out and the purpose is, you know, generate revenue, right? 
Yeah, and I think this is one of the key takeaways as well for people um, going, you know, beyond the exhibition at the event and really was my my vision for, for what this project would be. It's a, it's a week long uh, during the year in terms of its actual events, but the website, social media will continue throughout the year. And uh, the website really is the very first time that all of this content has come onto one platform. So, you know, even as, as um, recently as a couple of months ago, if you were trying to find out where all the open studios or the artist studios that you could visit in Cayman, you just couldn't find them. Um, some of them have amazing individual websites, but there was no sort of joined up approach to say, you know, where do I start? Um, right. Website has a great Google Maps. You know, we actually show you the locations. You can download it on your phone. There's also a, a PDF downloadable map that you can use if you're a bit more of a dinosaur like me and don't work very well with Google Maps. But every single profile on the website has the contact information, the sample of the works in that space, the a, a little brief overview um, about each venue, and then of course their website or social media handles if they don't have a website. Um, so we'll keep updating that. And then of course on um, at Cayman Art Week or hashtag Cayman Art Week, for social media, we're going to be using that space to continually showcase artists, showcase the venues, and also share other happenings that are ha happening across the creative sector, because we don't really have a joined up cultural calendar, as it were. Um, so this is going to be a great site through which people can really share their content. So if you're looking at what's coming up in the next few weeks at individual venues, you can jump on that space and we'll continue to update that throughout the year. Yes, and KMN Live TV would like to continue to be a media partner in this, and we hope to get some interviews with artists. We had one with um, Mark from Stoked uh, last week, which was an hour. I don't even know how that happened. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. so <laughs> we'll be editing some of that, but it was a very good conversation. Just the way you know he does his art, it's fascinating, and I now want to go see his home. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I asked Mark about doing an open studio and he's like, I can't let anyone in. There's just too much stuff in my studio. <laughs> so they did some great pop ups, but we would love to continue working with you guys. Uh, we are so grateful for the coverage uh, that you've allowed us in the last few few days. And of course, this whole project is about sharing um, and collaboration. And it's about getting exactly. the word out about the incredible work that all of these spaces and artists are actually doing. Um, so thank you for partnering with us on that. And yeah. we look forward to working with you going forward. For sure. We'll continue this relationship. So I'm sure this is not the, the last to see Natalie on Cayman Life TV and just around the community because she's everywhere. Um, but uh, <laughs> Disappearing but, for the next few weeks, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so pay attention, caymanartweek.com. Go check out, go check out the website. Um, get familiar. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep the conversation going. Um, let's support our very br brilliant local artists um, because we do have, I mean, all, all materials, everything is just, everyone has such a unique signature in the way they do their art. So um, it is remarkable fascinating. In our community, you know, how much yeah. creativity that we have and, you know, just getting everyone um, from, from you guys, from the, the public, um, to institutions like the National Gallery and uh, other partners, you know, we've had Prominence Properties, Cayman Islands, Georgetown Revitalization, all of these people coming together um, to support the industry so it's sustainable going forward. So thank you. Yeah. So little by little, Cayman Art Week will take over all of Cayman in <laughs> years to come. <laughs> thank you, Marianne. It's been you great yeah, spending this yes. time with you over the last week as well. Yes, same to you, and thank you for also inspiring me and to take more risks. So it's great. I can't wait to see the rest of the show. I'm going to be a regular viewer. Yeah. So <laughs> platform. Awesome. Well, everyone, thank you so much. And as we said, pay attention. Came on Art Week. Go check it out and um, support your local artist. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much, Natalie. Bye.